And we're back. Here we go. Another week of two shows for you all today and tomorrow for the Draw Along show. Sorry I was out last week, had a bit of business travel to do, but I'm back and we are ready to draw together. So thank you for joining me. Let's say hi to some folks in the chat today. We have Bass is here and Steve. How you doing? Uh, Steve's here a lot. I appreciate it. Steve. Steven as well. Nice to see you both. Uh, Sam, of course. Mercurial. Hello, hello. And Christelle, nice to see you. Silen and uh, Fabio and RB as well. What's up, RB? Mercurial. Nice to see these familiar and friendly faces. Remember, if you're watching on Twitter or anywhere else, I am following the chat over on Behance, which is be.net slash live. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Now, um, hope you all are staying safe and sound out there. Crazy weather happening all over the country, all over the world. I uh, hope everyone's doing okay with all that. Um, and, you know, school. School is starting again, which is crazy. Um, a lot of people are actually going back in person. Hope that's going well for those of you who have children who are out there in school. And for those of you who are children who are in school, hope it's going well for you. And, um, yeah, got your books. Hope you got your books ready. Uh, by the way, what does a book do in the winter? Well, of course, it puts on a jacket. I think we should do some drawing, okay? Why don't we get to it? Now, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself something to draw with. Could be a pencil, could be a pen, a marker, a crayon. Could be an iPad. You just dip the iPad in some paint and you draw with the edge of it. And that's a very expensive paintbrush. But listen, I'm not here to judge. You do what you want. Uh, to do these drawings, you have to be able to do three simple, simple things. And what are they? Well, one, a straight line, a zigzag, and that's numero dos, and number trois is a curvilinear line. Could be an S curve, could go this way, that way. Could be a C curve, right? If you can do those three things, you can follow along with our drawings. And uh, we're gonna get cooking, we're gonna get started here. Today's drawing is a nice simple one. I really love these drawings that have very few lines, but make a cool statement and take advantage of all three of the kind of lines we were just talking about. Um, so let's get to it now to start out you're going to want to do a little line like that it's a short one okay and it's horizontal right next step is we're going to travel up this way at a diagonal check it out all right that's a longer line isn't it than that first line how long i'd say it's about twice the length something like that do the same thing on the other side we'll go for some symmetry action here all right that's the beginning of our drawing uh, let me know in the chat if I go too fast. I try and keep these nice and slow. And don't forget, you can always watch them back on YouTube or on Behance, okay? Because every single episode episode is uh, archived. And uh, we now have over 130 episodes of the Draw Along Show. Can you believe it? Um, I see some other folks are joining us as well. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us on the chat. It's nice when we have a crowd because that means more people drawing. All right. Next step, we're going to come on down this way. Now check it out. Boom. And then on this side, boom. All right. Now, the lines we just drew, we're actually going to extend them. Okay? So check this out. I'm going to make it go a little longer and a little longer. See that? And then we're going to pop up in another direction like this. Bam. Didn't expect that, did you? So down and up, down and up, okay? Next step, we're gonna do one of those handy zigzags. And the zigzag zigzags are gonna be sideways. You can go up and down, they go any direction you like. These are some sideways zigzags. I want you to leave a little space between this line. You're gonna zig this way and zag that way. Check it out, okay? All right, that's what you wanna do. A little zig, little zag. Symmetry action as always, okay? Then we're going to leave some more space and come up this way and that way. All right. Now we're going to break into from here a curvilinear line. Okay. And that curvilinear line is going to come all the way down to about here. It's going to start out with a curve, but then it's going to kind of transition into a straight line. So check it out. Down like so. Okay. Same on this side, we're gonna come down here. Make sure we have that space in the middle, okay? Down, like so. And then you can do another zigzag, okay? 
it's going to go down and up. It's like a letter V. See that? Down and up. We have some uh, guesses here. We have Batman, <laughs> and we have a bat cat and a bat fox. Lots of bat ideas here going on. Lots of bats. Um, alrighty. Now, I want you to look right here where we started to make that transition from the long line up to the little sharp line like that. And from those points, okay, this one here and this one here, you're going to travel inward, okay, and not as far in as where we have this line, okay, not quite. But if I carry this up and I sort of triangulate between here and where this line would come if it was straight, like this, do a little line like that, okay, and another one over there. Got two little lines right there. Little line right here, little line right next to it, and a one and a two, okay? And then right here, zig, zag, zig, zag. See that? It's like a letter M. It's tiny, right? All right, if you're drawing really small in your paper and you don't wanna do that, you can always just do that as well, that's fine. But I like the zigzag, I like the one, two, three, four, okay? And folks, we are very close to being done. Watch this. See this angle here, okay, where that ear is coming down, all right? I want you to come slightly inside here of this curve and do the same angle, bam, okay? And then same on this side, bam. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna travel straight on down, slight angle, okay? So I'm not coming vertically, right? Watch this, down we go. See how long that is? That's the longest line of the drawing, isn't it? And right here, I just draw a little curvilinear line, a little C curve to interrupt that. So we go down and then a C curve. Check out that angle, try and match that on your paper if you can, or if you're drawing digitally, match it on your screen, okay? Square that off and go one, two. All righty. And then inside of here, I'm gonna come up and stop right about here, okay? So it's gonna be mostly straight and then a little bit of a curve. So up we go and a little bit of a curve right there, okay? All right, everybody following along? How you doing out there? Biola's here, well, how you doing Biola? Nice to see you as well. Laura, hey Laura, nice to see you. Uh, Wiley Coyote says Steve. No Roadrunner this time. Um, you know, we have coyotes in our neighborhood. You can hear them at night. Um, look at this angle here. I'm gonna mirror that in this direction, okay? I'm gonna come down, then I'm gonna stop early. See that? Stopping right there. Okay. And then from this side, I'm gonna come in like this. In we go and stop right there. And then I'm just gonna round this out like that. I show that that foot is curving around behind, okay? There we go. Now here you just wanna do a line and a line, a line and a line, all right? Just adding some detail there. And then, are you ready? Right here, we're gonna do a curvilinear line out this way. So here it comes, just like that. All right, nice curvilinear line. And this is a fun thing to do. We're gonna do these straight lines, okay? The angle of those lines is going to change as I move along the curve. Watch, starting here. One, two, see what's happening? Each of those lines is turning, okay, or rotating rather, in a clockwise fashion, right? as we get closer to the end of the tail. And that's how you do it. Now, you can do whatever you want to make this your own drawing. Maybe it's nighttime, you wanna draw a little moon, you wanna draw a little owl in a tree. Um, we got this, this wolf or coyote, whatever, prowling around at night, okay? And that's a fun thing to draw and it's a simple one you can do this anytime, and um, the steps are simple to remember. 
not too many lines if you count them up, uh, especially the bigger the bigger lines that we have, maybe about a dozen lines there to deal with. So another nice, simple, you draw it for everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, we're going to move on to who made that. We haven't done this in a while, have we folks? It's been a while since we did a who made that. So let me hide our little wolf slash coyote friend for a minute. And I'm going to bring up the clue for who made that. And let's zoom in nice and tight on that. Alrighty, now this one is tough unless you're up to speed on illustration, okay? If you are a fan of the world of illustration and the artists who are in that world, creating all the beautiful work we have in advertising and in books and editorial and um, people who do uh, work for uh, packaging and just everything, then you might be familiar with this amazing artist. So put your guesses in the chat. I'll give you about 30 seconds and we'll see if anybody can tell me who this artist is. Some clues. This artist was born in Hong Kong. Okay, another clue. This artist is alive <laughs> and, and quite young, honestly, to be as successful as this artist is. Uh, this artist has won multiple gold medals from the Society of Illustrators, a gold medal in Spectrum. Okay, the sci-fi and fantasy illustration competition. Um, and just so happens to also be a really nice person. Uh, so not seeing any guesses. So I think it's time for us to reveal who the artist is for today. And that is Victo Nye. Victo Nye, American artist born in Hong Kong. Truly one of my favorites and absolute uh, master of um, the medium here. And this illustration is just bananas. Let's just take a close look at this one. This was for an advertising campaign. Um, can you believe the amazing amount of detail in this work that we can admire? But I want to point out something about Victor's work, and that is no matter how quote unquote busy the artwork gets, okay, what you'll always find is that it is designed with bigger shapes, bigger passages, okay, and bigger divisions of the space, so to speak, so that it reads very clearly. And she's really good at getting the contrast right as well. Okay, so look at the big shape we have, the primary big focal point, this elephant, right? That is using the darkest color in the composition, okay? Basically a black, right? Um, so we're getting high contrast there and a nice big shape. And then within that shape, all right, she's able to break it down into smaller groups and then smaller groups and it's this cool process of going big to small. And there's always a hierarchy in play that you can really notice in her work. And this is the key to successful composition. Um, and I swear, she does it better than anybody. So, uh, wow, this is, this is really something. Let's just admire this for a moment. Tons of scale play here. People who are larger than life, people who are average size, smaller, right? Um, the color palette is so wonderful, right? And really harmonious. These, these colors just go so well together and there's a ton of balance. You would think, yeah, it's primarily a warm color palette, um, but the way she's popping it in, these little cool colors here and there makes your eye bounce around evenly to different uh, areas of the illustration to enjoy it. Let's look at another from this series because it's just magnificent as well. Again, same idea. Look at how we're dealing with this nice big parallelogram, okay, as a containment shape for the activity in here. One of the things you can do when you want to really admire and enjoy composition is to squint and look at it, okay? You notice we have that same elephant here, only this time it's more pushed to the background. Um, but if you squint and look, you're going to see the big shapes stand out in the composition. It's just so wonderful to see how that works. And look at how she's playing with echoes too, right? Echoing this curve again and again and again and again. And that repetition, right, gives it stability. Um, Really great. And you know, you get, of course, stability of this box shape here uh, with the verticals and the strong, um, the strong uh, straight edge bits and pieces there. Really, really great. Um, anyway, check out Victo's work. Certainly one of my favorite working illustrators, no doubt about that. 
um, and soon to be one of yours, I'm sure. I know that uh, she's done some work recently with some animation and some other projects. Um, I don't think her site is, is really updated or has been updated in a while, probably because she's just too busy to, to update it. Um, but I, I think if you check out her Instagram page, you're going to see um, everything that she's doing right now. So there you go, Victor and I, um, quite the artist, and um, enjoy, enjoy. That is our Who Made That for today. Uh, we're going to move on to the animal and activity game, of course, where you're going to suggest for me an animal doing something. Oh, sorry about before we get to the animal and activity, we do have to do one thing. This is very important. We have to do appreciation station. And look who it is today. It's our friend Christelle. Christelle, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the Draw Along show. I want to tell you a quick uh, story. Just want to see if you remember this. Back in 1984, we were working at the public library in New York. Remember this? We were just librarians, you know, stacking, stacking books on the shelves and all that. And we'd come in every day and the books would be on the floor or they'd be in the wrong place. And I said, you know, someone's coming in at night and they're messing around. And you said, nope, no, Kyle, I know it's ghosts. And I said, come on, give me a break. But you know what? You didn't want to argue with me. Instead, thank you for being, you know, willing to go behind my back, behind our boss's back and call those weird guys we saw in that TV ad with the white suits. They came out and they trapped, sure enough, a ghost in the library. Can you believe it? And then a few weeks later, they saved the entire city from an enormous walking marshmallow. Isn't that just the weirdest memory? Do you remember that? That was crazy. Anyway, I want to thank you for your quick thinking of your belief in all things supernatural. That really saved the day. So back to drawing. Now for the animal and activity game, it is up to you in the chat to suggest to me an animal doing something strange or funny or weird or bizarre, or unexpected, and I will then draw it for you in the time we have remaining on the show, which is only a few minutes, okay? But we always get it done. Examples. Uh, two weeks ago, we drew an owl playing a banjo, right? It's that kind of stuff. An animal doing something weird, something funny, and uh, that's all there is to it. So while you're thinking of something clever for me to draw, I'm going to grab my light blue color. This is what I like to sketch with. See that? I always do a little sketch. And I'm ready to go. Let's see if we have any ideas here in the chat. We have a kayaking sheep. Well, how about that? Thank you, Laura. Um, we have a rabbit riding a bicycle, a biking rabbit, an owl with sunglasses, and a white cane. Hmm, what does that mean? Um, a canary lounge singer, says Mercurial. I like that. Um, a crane practicing kung fu. A kiwi polishing some shoes. A kiwi polishing some, polishing some blue. I'm trying to remember what a kiwi looks like. They've got long, thin beaks, right? A surfing monkey, says Viola. These are fun. Um, hmm. Oh, I love surfing animals. I can't help it. Let's do the surfing monkey. Viola, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so as usual, we need to get a sketch going here. I have to think about the angle of the surfboard. How do I want to show that? I think in this case, I might show the surfboard kind of from the top with the monkey sort of leaning over from this angle, you know, foot down here, leg above like this. So that the body is being overlapped by the head and the, the legs are being overlapped by the body, you know what I mean? So that's kind of like the, the angle I'm thinking. All right, something like this. And this arm will be out this way. Okay. And then this arm be more sort of facing us with the, actually, let's do this. Let's do that sort of hang loose Hawaii kind of gesture. You know what I mean? And I want actually the head to be facing 
Because when you surf, you gotta look where you're going, right? So the head's gonna be facing this way. And we're gonna do that. What's that kind of monkey? A spider monkey, I think, that sort of has this, this sort of look. And we can have that tail. That's a nice, that's a nice curvilinear line coming out this way. Maybe it curves down that way, like a more of an S curve, that kind of thing. Is that a gibbon? I'm getting these these names right for these kinds of animals. Okay, and they've got skinny, skinny arms. Let's make sure that it's nice and skinny, right? Get that thumb out there. I think that's kind of what they look like, right? Something like that. A little hair on top is always fun as well. And that's a nice, easy way to draw a wave with some water. Just have those lines kind of curving around like that. A couple splashes. Alrighty, let's reduce the opacity of that just a bit. And I'm gonna grab my darker blue. And let's see what we can do here. And there is our cute little monkey head. And we'll get this arm coming out towards us. Bit of foreshortening there. One, two, three. And that little pinky finger there. Okay. And then the other hand, oops, there we go. Right there. Have that bathing suit. And then gotta do some foreshortening there where the the foot is out the back. I know I'm probably messing up and blending together like four different kinds of monkeys or even apes here, but that's what happens, isn't it, when you when you do this kind of stuff. Slow down a little bit on this curve. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to get the energy of of the sketch when you you try and do the final line art don't have the luxury of doing those big curvilinear lines in one shot, you know what I mean? And okay. There are all the remains. 
means is that tail. And I think we are in good shape. Let's hide that sketch. And there is our surfing monkey. We'll bring back our good friend, uh, the wolf there, or whatever he is. Okay, thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the Draw Along Show. Same thing tomorrow, same time. Until then, everybody, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remember to be kind, and I'm going to say ciao for now.